Ready to take back control of your life? Check out the 2024 Monk Mode Protocol. Link in the description. There's a lot of information out there on nine to five jobs that is complete bull crap. This video will probably trigger some people out there that watch it, but this needs to be said. At the end of the day, the problem isn't the nine to five job. The problem is people just don't want to put in the work anymore. The problem is people don't want to put in the work. They're just always looking for damn shortcuts all the time. Regardless of whatever route you go in life, you're always going to have deadlines, right? Even outside of the nine to five job, like motherfucker, you think your business isn't going to have deadlines imposed on you? You're gonna have still have deadlines. You're gonna have business calls. You're gonna still have to work with other people, other clients, right? Asking you tons of questions about maybe certain products that haven't been delivered yet, right? Certain content, why you're not producing certain content a certain way. You're still gonna have people asking you questions all the time, right? You see, at the end of the day, there's no replacement for putting in hard work. For one, right, coming from a guy who's worked in nine to five jobs for nearly a decade, I'll tell you this, man, once you get to a certain level working nine to five, right, once you get past the entry level experience, once you get into your second, third year of working, a nine to five job itself actually shifts towards becoming very hands off. After you've established yourself for two, three years, and you start moving up the career ladder, it becomes very hands-off. I don't have team leads asking me where this and that is. They give me a deadline and I meet it. Just like in business, right? Whether it be YouTube, you make deadlines for yourself, right? To post videos on certain days and you meet them. And if you don't meet them, you're just fucking yourself up in the future. When it comes to nine to five jobs, it's kind of a similar sequence where you have deadlines that you have to meet and you meet them. Now, all this stuff about, oh, you know, he wants this done tomorrow. Look, most jobs that I've worked in, right, there's always been fairly decent deadlines imposed by higher ups, right? And a lot of people are very accommodating, believe it or not. You see, company culture is a thing. Not saying every single company is going to be super, super flexible, but honestly, a lot of companies, they are pretty flexible. You do get a lot of paid time off. You do get holidays. You get a good amount of vacation days. Regardless of popular belief of what all these idiots online tell you, right? If you're sick, if you're not feeling well, you could always take a sick day. In fact, you get paid during sick days, okay? You get paid during holidays. You see, a lot of people don't know this information online. A lot of people don't know this. A lot of these influencer people don't know this. Now, don't get me wrong. Your work is being evaluated, right? You can't go in being a complete airhead and slacking off. But at the same time, even if you have your own business, the same principles apply, right? You can't slack off either way. A lot of people, when it comes to college education, right? There's a lot of people that are doing a lot of stupid things out there, right? Picking majors that aren't employable, right? The biggest thing is, honestly, if you pick an employable major in college, right? Sciences, technology, engineering, math, finance, something in the STEM field, you're going to be absolutely fine working the nine to five jobs. You're going to get employed. Yeah, if you work in like administrative, if you're a desk clerk or if you're working a retail nine to five job, my advice, my best advice to you would honestly be to go back and get at least some type of like certifications in terms of like an associate's degree or even do an online accredited program for a bachelor's degree in a STEM related field, in a field that's related to science, technology, engineering, math, finance. At least do that, man. It's better than working, you know, those nine to five jobs that are bullshit, like in retail. In fact, nobody's saying that you can't do that side hustle or that business, right? You can do all of that and still have your nine to five job. Now, keep in mind, right? It's going to take a lot of work. It's going to take years of work, right? Three, four, five years of work and discipline to be successful in both venues you're going to have to sacrifice partying on the weekend you're going to have to sacrifice 
going to happy hours all the time after work but it's definitely doable the best route to do is to go to college man get your ass to college bro get the nine to five job choose a college major that's employable and get a nine to five job man and nobody's saying you can't start that business on the side nobody's saying you can't start that side hustle the problem is people just don't want to work anymore. Everybody wants to take damn shortcuts. You can do both. It's just going to require sacrifice during the beginning stages, okay? Not going to happy hours all the time after work. Sacrificing your weekends. Use the weekends as time to work on the side hustle. But definitely, man, do not give up your 9 to 5 job. Getting the job, getting your first source of income off of an employable major is going to be guaranteed after you finish college. Again, no one's saying you can't work on your side hustle. You can do both, man. Just stop listening to all the garbage content out there. A lot of people go back and be like, damn, I wish I could go back to school. In fact, a bunch of people even do go back to school to restart their life. The problem is the older you get, the harder it's going to be to do a restart. So don't fuck yourself up, man. The more you level up in your career, the higher up you get. In fact, you become the leader. You become the guy that's overlooking other people. It's a very straightforward sequence up to the top. You can't always say the same thing about entrepreneurship, all right? Entrepreneurship and business and side hustles, the path isn't as straightforward as it is with a nine to five job. And again, not saying you can't do both, right? But until your business or your side hustle is really taking off for three, four, five years, man, don't be an idiot and don't quit your nine to five job, man. Anyways, guys, that is it for today's video. Be sure to drop a comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Hit the like and subscribe button. And as always, I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.